Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Tonight, over the next two hours, um, we are going to have an award ceremony where each student who has placed or won an award is formally recognized. They receive plaques and certificates. And also each student who is just in the exhibition also receives recognition as well. Each school that participates earns a certain number of entries. This year we received 288 entries and she selected 80 for the exhibit, so very competitive. The parents are really, really impressed. Many of them have no idea what their students and children have been involved with over the year. They don't realize the level of the work. Um, maybe they've only seen their own kid working on it, but when it's framed and hanging in our museum, it just takes on uh, another level. When the students come here, and look at the artwork that we have up in our collection and the exhibitions that we show and they are required to respond to them, to be inspired by the works that are up. Um, some works are you know, three, four, five hundred years old and yet these students can make them relevant and modern to now, to 2013. This is our third year sponsoring this beautiful, important event. I believe in arts sponsor in a local community and I think it's just nice for us to support and recognize young talents. The inspiration came from sort of the darkness of the original piece. I wrote that, that you could smell sort of the stench of the fish that's coming out of the painting so I, I used that and associated it with, um, with pollution of, of the ecosystem. It's sort of how Mother Nature's paying for the sins of, uh, of man and the sins would be all the synthetic things that, that they're making. I was inspired by um, the piece Blue Bulb. The light bulb is meant to symbolize um, good ideas and the hand is meant to symbolize bad influences and how they can hinder the ability to make good decisions. This is one of the most incredible events that we have here at the museum. The quality of the work is just, it's amazing. All mixed mediums and from photographs to pastels to pencil drawings to this incredible dress made out of glass. And it's, uh, it's a wonderful testament to how talented our kids are here on Long Island. I um, was inspired by Marjorie Caggiano's Blue Bulb. And I really just like how shattered glass looks in general. So I figured that paired with the inspiration artwork would make a great dress. Actually, Trader Joe's <laughs> had a blue bottle. And I used 21 of the blue bottles. And I just kind of smashed them in my backyard. And, and I just... <laughs> On. The piece that I used was called Interior Landscape, so I called my piece Interior Chairscape and then connected the two and said how the background and the foreground work together to create an image that worked and uh, I guess they liked it. For this piece here is a Climb Through Time that is a mixed media piece and I was inspired by um, the Robert S. Newman uh, exhibit which is the Ship to Paradise. I like to do surrealism, just like random stuff in there just to kind of get the point across. It feels great to have an achievement award in acrylic because junior year I started painting and it's a lot more gestural and painterly and it's a new way for me to express how I feel about something. I was inspired by a piece called Untitled and it was a bunch of boxes it looked like covered by a blanket and it inspired me to do a mask because it provokes thought of what is behind the blanket and with masks, masks are so interesting on their own but you also provoke thoughts of what is behind the mask. I took a picture of the Eiffel Tower from an upward looking angle and I used that picture to do my piece. I used oil pastels because it was an, a, like a rough architect, a hardness of the architecture and then I used the softness of the oil pastels to create a hard and softness. When I think of where I was at this time in my life as they are, I am astounded with the depth of thought and inspiration and most have taken off and been inspired by other exhibits and different paintings and when I see how they describe why they were inspired they have the maturity of you know decades of life already and, and a great deal of talent. 